Hey guys! Hello! So in this super exciting world of electronics, I have decided that my next project is going to be a foxhole radio. Um, and of the many different components, the inductor is one of them. Um, so I was testing all of the individual components and decided, well, why not do a video on this? Because I didn't know what an inductor was and maybe you don't either. So the principle is essentially when any charge goes through a wire, such as this one, you got charge flowing through it and around it it creates a kind of halo of electromagnetic energy. Um, which I'm is fine. Electron donut? Yeah, well, yes. Not as edible, but yes. Mm. <laughs> and so that's fine. Okay, but what do you do with it? Well, inductors are just a wire coiled up a whole bajillion number of times. And so right here... Now, inductance is what? Resistance to the change of current? Yes, that is correct. Okay. That is correct. So we have a wire here that's coiled into about... I counted 125 maybe She's but i lost count low, so <laughs> i be. lost count so it could be like 175 you know whatever um and what happens is so i have my power source the battery pack or you know whatever power source the inductor uses and you have current going in and then loop 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 you know like a ride on the roller coaster what was that addy loop 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 <laughs> 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 um and what happens is this whole thing kind of becomes like an electromagnetic thing. Um, and what ha and then from there, if for instance I took this power source away or whatever other power source there was away from the inductor, the inductor says, boop boop, I want this charge to keep going. So what it'll do is generate a voltage, it'll kind of like a self-generated voltage to keep that current going at the same, or the charge, going at the same speed that it was before. Um, I've never seen this, uh, well, yeah, I've never really looked for it to be proven, but we might as well now because we have an inductor coil made over a lovely toilet paper tube. Um, okay, and apologies by the way for the tacky board, I just needed something hard to <laughs> nail this nail this uh, paper towel tube thingy too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get hook this uh, battery pack to this inductor and I already have probes hooked um, on my multi multimeter? Yep. multimeter to this inductor coil. This ensures or is showing us that well, one, there's no charge going through it because there's no power source. Okay. Ah. Let's try that again. <laughs> I need longer wires. Alright, so if we look at the voltometer, it looks like we're at about 3.66 volts or so. Alright, and so if I remove one of these leads to break the circuit, theoretically I should see a spike in that voltage. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, it jumped all the way to 16. Ooh. Let's try that again. Wow, 19 volts. <laughs> and the really cool thing, I wish we could catch it on video, but if you want to do this at home, it's really easy actually, is a spark kind of appears every single time um, you try to take it away, and I think it's just from that extra amount of voltage. Not quite, let's see. Ooh, did you see it? Yeah, I don't think the camera can though. Dang it. Or you'll need a bigger power source. So anyway, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool.
Yes, so that's the inductor, and um, we will be putting this in a nice big pile of DIY electrical components with the foxhole radio. So when that comes out, you'll know what this is from, or for. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.